Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be sharing a couple of projects that I created over the last couple days. And the first one is this little mini book that I created with a 8x6 project life card. So let me show you what the project life card, I'll just pull out one of the ones I've had. And it looks like this. It's a 6x8 project life card and I had them sitting you know in a box and I figured you know what what can I do with it and I came up with this little uh, mini book so let me open it up for you and I used a Maggie Holmes I used uh, let's see which collection bloom and gather so those are the two collections I used to uh, embellish this little book so all I did here was tie it off with a little piece of baker's twine and I added a little tassel which I have a tutorial and I will link that video down below so that you can make your own little tassels so I made that little tassel and put that on there and I just glued it to the back put a little heart and a little sentiment I'm not done with it I'm trying to figure out if I want to add more embellishments but you can use this to like add little pictures or you know you can do it for happy mail and add little die cuts you know sequins or whatever you want to gift okay so just did the front here with some maggie holmes paper create a little rosette and these little tiny roses okay and then you just open it up like this and it just opens up just like that so on this one here they had little cut aparts i put that there i have a little coffee cup die and i just cut it using colored index cards so they can journal on it use that for journaling and I just cut out this little camera from the paper collection fussy cut that and then I added a little pocket with a little sentiment and added these two little journaling card cut aparts and just put those in the pocket and I decorated this here and this is a pocket so you can put you know something in there if you want I haven't added anything yet and then I just decorated this page here another pocket two little cut aparts from the collection and added a little strip and this is from uh, the top of the paper the branding strip and then I created two little embellishments to fussy cut these little butterflies out and just sticked it on with a tiny piece of uh, double-sided tape I haven't finished this deck uh, this side yet so I think I'm going to add another pocket, maybe with vellum or something. And what I was thinking about was doing the back side. But I'm not sure yet because it's kind of bulky, you know, if you put too much stuff in there. But maybe I will. I'm going to, I'm in the process of creating another little mini book. So we'll see how that goes. So all I did was I tied that. I measured where I wanted the tassel to end. So then I just wrap it around. And then you just tie a little bow and that is it and this is a six by eight paper the measurement is three by two inches so it's really cute fits in the palm of your hand but i think it is a great way to use some six by eight papers that you have i mean you don't have to use a project life card uh you could use a six by eight piece of paper or just cut a paper to six by eight okay so there's that i also created this little I don't know it's like a little envelope or clutch but I was wanting to get I've been looking online and I've been inspired and I wanted to make something with vinyl and last night I was thinking about it kind of late so I didn't want to turn on my sewing machine and it might be too loud so I decided to get one of those page protectors and you know and use my fuse tool so this has a little pocket just right here so you can put in your little goodies like I can put this little mini book in there and close it off I was thinking about putting some velcro but this is that really flimsy um, page protector it's not very thick I think I got it from the dollar store the 99 cent store so I didn't want to use any velcro because you know opening and closing might rip the plastic and it's not very thick so I had this page protector, which I had a bunch. Hang on a second. 
on the last video that I did, I was making a shaker. And here are the page protectors, okay? This is and they're very, very thin, okay? And I accidentally put my fuse tool on this and see what happened. So they all got ruined. So all I did was I just cut it off from right here and decided to go ahead and make my little, you know, envelope or wallet or clutch, however you want to call it, with that leftover. I didn't want to throw it away. So I did that. And this is what I came up with. Now, this is not my original idea. I was inspired by watching a lot of other videos. And so I just, you know, did a little something on my own. And I added these paper confetti that I made myself with my circle punch. With this punch here, my uh, 5 eighths of an inch circle punch. And some tissue paper. And I just made a whole bunch, you know, in just different colors. Okay. And then I just put them all in there folded it over and then I made a crepe paper um, I sewed together I've had this sewn together for a while and I just sewed it together with two different colors of crepe paper I'll show you some other ones this one's not as thick but I have a whole bunch of this in my stash that I had made quite some time ago so I decided to go ahead and I used a double-sided tape to stick it on there and then I had this trim from the 99 cent store which is this one here and I just glued it on the top there and I just folded it over so I just measured how much I wanted so the strip was like this and I just fused it shut okay so there's the little confetti throughout the whole thing but I thought that came out really cute and since I didn't want to put um, velcro on there maybe I will if I use like a thicker plastic or vinyl so I just have this little clip here and you can just put it right on there to keep it closed. And you can put another clip on this side to keep that one closed. But I thought it would be really cute. It's very inexpensive. You don't have to have like expensive page protectors. You can just use this or packaging from, you know, um, you know, like that vinyl comes like when you get by your sheets. You can use that, cut that up, and use that. I had bought some vinyl from Walmart the other day, and I'm going to try to make some zipper vinyl pouches, and hopefully I can share that with you soon. But this is what I came up with, and I hope you like it. You can use it to put whatever you want. So originally I wanted to put this inside here. So that is my project share for today. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I've inspired you to make something on your own. Um, if you're interested in a tutorial on either one of these things, leave a comment below. Talk to you guys soon. And as always, thank you so much for liking, watching, and subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Bye-bye.